Here we are in one of the outer suburbs of Melbourne, Victoria, on a two megawatt commercial solar project. After many thousands of man hours, the project is nearing completion and there's just a few more things to do. All big jobs take time and this project has been going on for nearly a year. Obviously COVID got in the way, but the sheer scale of this job means we're talking literally thousands of, of man hours. Now, there was 4,446 solar panels and if you put them edge to edge, effectively you've got a distance of about nine kilometers. The amount of DC solar cable from the combiner boxes exceeded 20 kilometers. On this job, we use DC combiner boxes, and there's 20 of them in 316 stainless steel enclosures. The cabling from those combiner boxes consisted of 50 mil, 70 mil, and 95 mil copper flex, obviously taking into consideration the volt drop scenario as well, trying to keep that under 2%. The amount of racking was a little over five kilometers, and it consisted of two different forms, both energy tilts, and one was a tripod system, which is a bit structurally stronger than the standard system. And this was used for the sections of the array that were near the edge. There's 20 solar edge inverters and 2,276 individual optimizers, most accommodating two panels, but because of the numbers, some accommodating only one panel. Now, each of these solar edge inverters is connected to a 160 amp AC isolator, usually 50 or 70 mil copper flex. And from those AC isolators, they're going into a molded case circuit breaker, also of 160 amp capacity. 